Right before I jump into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Noam Davidovich, who lent me this iPad for a few days and made this review possible. Noam, you're a legend. Alright, the iPad Pro 11 inch has been one of the most controversially received mainstream Apple products in recent memory. Actually, now that I think about it, what other product isn't controversial? Anyways, here's my perspective on it as a high schooler. What's up guys, I'm Aaron the Tech Guy, and today we're going to be talking about the iPad Pro 11 inch. I loved my experience with the iPad Pro, but there were certain things that made it impossible to use in my daily life as a laptop replacement. Let's talk about the things I loved before that though. First, the screen. It's amazing. When I first heard that the iPads were going to have 120Hz screen screens, I thought to myself, meh, I'm not going to change the experience that much. Boy was I wrong. The 120Hz screen in the iPad Pro makes the experience so much better. Everything feels so smooth and natural, like the animations were supposed to be like that. I found myself closing and opening apps randomly just so I could see that animation, which may have been a little distracting, but that's okay. The gestures also lent themselves to being incredibly intuitive and smooth, which only helped the experience. When I, felt, when, I, when I went back to using my laptop, it felt so much lower than it should have, considering my laptop has an i7 in it. Now let's talk about performance. This iPad has Apple's proprietary A12X chip in it, in it and it is super fast. I believe benchmarks have even shown that it's, that it's faster than the current MacBook Pro 15 inch. That's some serious power for something this thin and light, which doesn't even have a fan. Such a ridiculous amount of power translates into the iPad literally never slowing down. However, as I will talk about more later, it is almost impossible to take full advantage of this power. Interfacing with the iPad Pro has been one of the more controversial parts of its release, and I'm somewhat ambivalent about it. It actually works as intended, unlike some operating systems. <coughs> Windows and Chrome OS. However, I did say I almost don't care. Exclusively using an on-screen keyboard means saying goodbye to some things I use on a daily basis, such as keyboard shortcuts and touch typing. That's why it's a mixed bag for me. Although typing on the keyboard is a very seamless experience, I lose some things as I use on a daily basis and contributes to the fact that the iPad Pro is still not a full laptop replacement. Which brings me to something that's awesome about the iPad, the Apple Pencil. Simply put, it's fantastic. I fully expected the pencil to be a total gimmick since I'm, not an art, since, since I'm not an artist, but I was wrong. I found my experience with the Apple Pencil to be, much like everything about this iPad, seamless. It attaches magnetically to the side of the iPad where it also charges. I loved using the Apple Pencil to do things like math and just generally scroll through things. Who was it that said that nobody wants a stylus again? Who wants a stylus? <laughs> What's up guys, I'm A.A. Ramit from the future, and I realized as I was editing this video that I forgot to talk about some things. There are some more really good things about the iPad Pro. First, speakers. So somehow Apple managed to pack in four amazing speakers into, into this tiny little thing. And the speakers sound so full, and so, so vibrant. And I just don't know how they managed to do it, but it's, whatever, whatever they did, it's awesome. I love it. Um, next, let's talk about portability. This thing is paper thin. Only weighing about, hang on, let me check. Hey Siri, how much does the iPad Pro 11 inch weigh? 297 grams. That's pretty good. Now compare that to the Surface Laptop, which is 1200 grams. That's like crazy. I, I'm, when I went back to using my laptop after using the iPad, it felt heavy. It felt like a burden, which is funny because the Surface Laptop is supposed to be an Ultrabook. And that, that's like really good. Now let's talk, about, let's talk about cameras for whoever cares. It's the same camera that, it's the same camera that's found in the iPhone XR. So, look up a review on that, that, and then you'll get your answer. Now let's talk about one downside, or upside that I forgot about. There are two, there, it's baked into one. The, the iPad Pro 11 inch comes with a USB-C port, which sounds great. But until iPad OS 13 comes out, there are no removable drives supported, and um, in exchange for this, Apple took, out, took away the headphone jack. Why would they do that? I don't, I don't generally use the headphone jack personally because I have AirPods, but I do occasionally like to record audio, and why would I want to do that with my iPad? Ad relief was also pretty good, and was enough to last me comfortably through whatever I was doing that day. Unfortunately, I did not have the iPad for long enough to really extensively test that, so you have to watch some other review, or look online, to see how long the iPad actually la lasts in daily life. You'll be seeing me more la later as I talk when I talk about how iPad OS 13 might change my impression. 
So far, it seems like I love the iPad Pro, which I did. So now let's get back to my main point, that I, at the moment, cannot replace my laptop with the iPad. First, the apps. I mentioned this already, but the app selection on the iPad Pro is very limited to what iOS offers. Most apps in the App Store are very limited and cannot be full replacements to their desktop counterparts, such as Google Docs. Most Pro programs don't even have replacements on the iPad, such as Premiere and the Arduino IDE. Next, multitasking. I can't have more than two apps open at once, fully open at once at least, and I can't have multiple instances of the same app open at once, such as having two Google Docs open or two Microsoft Word documents open at once, which in and of itself is a deal breaker. Finally, durability. And the iPad Pro just doesn't have any of that structural integrity stuff. Yeah. I love my experience with the iPad Pro, but it's just not good enough yet to replace my laptop. However, I am excited with Apple for what Apple has in store in the future, because a lot of this, these complaints can be fixed with a simple software update, except for the durability. Yeah. What's up, guys? I'm back from the future. And now I'm going to talk about how iPadOS 13 might change my opinion on the iPad a little bit. At WWDC 2019, Apple announced many changes to iPad, and that they even named it their own thing, iPadOS. They announced Expose 4 apps, allowing multiple instances of the same app open at the same time, which fixes that complaint. They're allowing, they're allowing desktop um, class browsing on, the, on Safari, which, which fixes the problem with things like Google Docs. But here's the thing, I still don't think that the iPad Pro is the full replacement for your laptop. And here's why. Apple still isn't taking the iPad seriously as a computer replacement. I mean, think about it. One of the highlight features announced at, at WWDC is Sidecar. If, if you don't know what Sidecar is, it allows you to use your iPad as a secondary display for your MacBook. Now, if Apple really wanted the iPad to be your main laptop, they wouldn't have done this. They, they, would, would, they would have just said, here are all the features you want on the iPad. Great. Now use it as a laptop. They also would have replaced their smart keyboard, which honestly sucked from when I've tried from when I've tried them in the store. Finally, uh, many, many of the pro apps still have not announced their presence on iPad, and for, it's for that reason that I still cannot change my my opinion on if the iPad is is a full laptop replacement or not. All right, now let's finish the video. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like. Click on subscribe and turn on notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. As always, you're watching. Hey, you're on the tech.